What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great Saturday. It is um, an interesting one, to say the least. Um, we are a week away from Free Agent Frenzy starting next Sunday, and uh, it's Saturday afternoon, and we're getting news that Tyron Smith will not be returning. It's being reported that it's unlikely, at least by Ian Rappaport, um, that he will be a free agent and um, will be highly coveted. Um, hats off to Tyron Smith, who's been uh, a great Dallas Cowboy player. Unfortunately, injuries have been a problem for him, and I wish him the best of luck wherever he goes. Um, Michael Anthony Fitness Reaction Gig Economy, um, electrician extraordinaire, shared with me a Calvin Watson's, Calvin Watkin uh, update on Leighton Van Der Esch that says that Leighton Van Der Esch is dealing with another neck injury. Um, I don't know if that's an old report from where he got injured week four after a um, Trent Williams cheap shot. Or if getting out of the bed that he's hurt this neck again. I think um, regardless of if this is actually a, something new or not, at some point you have to look at the quality the rest of your life is going to be. You know, I look at my life right now, I'm 58 years old, and figure I'm never going to really be retired. Okay, I'm off to work the rest of my life, and I'm okay with that. My body is battered and bruised. I've got bad back and knees and, you know, different aches and pains and things, but I'm still very functional. When you start talking about your neck and you start thinking about the wear and tear on the bodies that the guys take playing football, and when you start talking about having neck issues and breaking your freaking neck, it may be time to say enough is enough and I've got to think about my family or future family and things like that to be able to play with your kids and not be paralyzed and so I think regardless of what the doctors say that after six years of Van Der Esch that it's time for you to put up the cleats maybe go into coaching or broadcasting or something else but it's time to, to, to let that go it is time to let it go. Um, and it's sad because when you're a football player and, you know, a guy that's still in his 20s who everything, I'm sure, has been Little League football, high school football, college football, and now the NFL, stopping playing football is a major stop, stop shock to the system that literally you don't know what you're going to do. You're 20-something, and what's my career going to What's the rest of my life going to be if I live to 70s, 80s, or 90s? What am I going to do? Well, hopefully, hopefully, he's taken care of his money and got his money working for him, that he's got options to do almost anything that he wants. But sadly, a lot of players, that don't happen. And a lot of them, are immediately broke upon leaving the NFL because they weren't prepared for getting all the money that they got and don't know how to keep it. So um, hopefully Van Der Esch is okay and um, that he's going to have a great rest of his life. But um, it seems like the Dallas Cowboys are going through a lot of changes right now. The old guard, the Jason Garrett guys, there's not many left. There's not many left. Uh, you got Zach Martin. You got Dak. You got, who else do we have? Uh, D-Law. That's about it. The Jason Garrett era is done and over with. And I guess, I don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing, but it's a thing. I hope you all are having a 
great day and um, I'll be talking to you guys as always a little bit later. I'm gonna run into Home Depot and grab some screws and uh, some casters and things. We're working on doing some new stuff uh, that we're gonna be having out from Joe Boo's Man Cave and doing some work at the Red Brick House before I get back up the road tomorrow to work on that house. Hope y'all having a great day and uh, be safe out there.